Did you lose your iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, Mac, or AirPods? Well, today I'm gonna show you how to find them using Find My. Yeah, that's the name, kind of like uh, I'm hiring a private detective to find my phone, except I don't have to hire anyone. Hey, before we jump in, take a moment and subscribe to the How To Do All channel for more weekly how-to videos. So I'm gonna assume that most of you are watching this video because you lost your iPhone or maybe your AirPods. Well, whatever you lost or just can't find, I just wanna say, I'm sorry to hear that. And I'm gonna do my best to help you out. With all that in mind, this video is gonna be a little out of sequence. First, I wanna show you how to find your iPhone or other missing Apple device. Then I'm gonna show you how to set up and make sure all your Apple devices are on Find My. So if you ever lose it or can't find it in the future, you're set to go. So let's start with locating that missing iPhone. Now, the first step is going to be to take a deep breath. At least that's what my therapist tells me <laughs> and my girlfriend and my mom and my barista. Okay, a lot of people tell me, tell me that, okay? So from a computer, you're gonna go to iCloud.com slash find. Or if you have access to an iOS device or access to a friend's iOS device, open the Find My app. Next, enter your Apple ID and password. And remember, it's the Apple ID that's on your missing iPhone or iPad, Apple Watch, or Mac. That's important here. Once you're in the Find My app or on iCloud.com, you'll see a map showing where all your Apple devices that use the same Apple ID are located. To see a list of all your Apple gadgets, tap on the Devices tab in the Find My app or all devices on iCloud.com. From there, tap on your missing iPhone or Apple device. You'll see the amount of battery remaining in the device and either its current location, the location where it was last online, or no location. And if there's no location, don't worry, you still have options. The first option is to play a sound, so if it's lost in your house or car, hopefully you'll hear the pings that it makes so you can find it. Also, if you have your iPhone on silence, it will vibrate. So you might need to listen for those little you know, the phone vibrating sounds. Now, if you're on iCloud.com, your next option is to put your missing iPhone into lost mode. You'll be prompted to enter a phone number where you can be reached and you can write a message that will be displayed on the lock screen. Other notifications and messages won't appear on your lock screen and all the contents of your Apple wallet, including your Apple Pay, credit cards, and transit cards will be disabled. Your lost iPhone will still be able to receive incoming phone calls and FaceTime calls, just in case someone is able to answer it or nice enough to. If your missing iPhone is turned off and lost mode is enabled, you'll receive an alert when the phone is turned back on, complete with its current location. Now that's assuming that the phone still is somehow able to have a data connection. Now, if you're on my Find My app, you could select your missing iPhone and mark it as lost, which basically does the same things as lost mode does on iCloud.com. The Find My app gives you a separate option to be notified when your missing phone is turned back on and connected to the internet. Once you enable the mode, you'll either see the word activated or pending. Activated meaning the device is marked as lost or pending meaning that the device is currently offline but the next time it is online, it would be marked as lost. Okay, so the last option you have when your phone is missing or lost is to erase your device remotely. This option will erase all the content on your iPhone the next time it connects to the internet. The downside of erasing your device is that if you do retrieve it, you'll have to restore it from a backup to get all the stuff that you had on it. Okay, so let's talk about setting up Find My on your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, Apple Watch, and AirPods. So from your iOS device, open Settings, tap on your name, tap Find My, and tap Find My iPhone, or Find My iPad, or Find My iPod Touch. Pro tip. If your iPhone is set up with Find My, then any connected Apple Watches or AirPods will automatically be set up as well. I think it was Socrates that said, the best kind of setup is when it's done automatically for you. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Socrates. Pro tip! Now, while you're in the Find My iPhone menu, you can enable offline finding, meaning even if your phone isn't connected to Wi-Fi or cellular, your device can send its location to Apple. I mean, come on, right? That seems impossible. Well, it's all thanks to our quiet little friend, Bluetooth Low Energy, AKA BLE. Other iPhones check BLE beacons for messages coming from a lost iPhone. Now, when it picks up one of these signals, the active iPhone tags the message with its GPS location and then shares that info to Apple's servers. That's sneakier than a butterfly stealing a turtle's tears, which I just learned was a thing and how awful. Okay, so the last thing to enable is send last location. This will automatically send your iPhone's last location when the battery gets critically low. Now, all these settings will apply to iOS devices, so this covers iPhones, iPods, iPads, as well as connected devices like Apple Watches and AirPods. Okay, so if you want to set up a Mac on Find My, open the Apple menu, go to System Preferences, then click Security and Privacy. Now, click on the Privacy tab, then click on Location Services on the left. Click on the lock icon on the bottom left of the window to unlock it. You'll be prompted to enter the administrator name and password for that computer. Once that's done, select Enable Location Services. Then, in the list of apps, scroll to System Services and click on the Details button. A window will pop up and check Find My Mac. So that's all I've got for finding lost iPhones and other Apple devices, but I want to hear from you. Have you lost an iPhone and recovered it with Find My or maybe an iPad or Apple Watch or AirPods? If so, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any tips or tricks for using Find My, throw those in the comments. And last, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, keep your damn mouth shut. All right, let's see where my iPad is because it's not here. All right, so.